You know, Derek, it seems like another year, another virus. Believed to have been eradicated, we recently learned that polio had been detected in sewage in the UK between February and May this year. But it's not just polio raising concern in medical circles. Monkeypox is now spreading across the globe. So it was Virology 101 for McFarlane as he asked some eminent scientists what to make of it. You might have heard some news about a new infection which is starting to spread in the UK. It's May 7th, 2022. In London, the British Health Security Agency confirms a case of monkeypox. In just a week, more cases trickle in. Now, the first case of monkeypox has been identified in Scotland, bringing the number of cases in the UK to 21. Monkeypox has now been detected in three more countries. The agency have identified 11 more cases in England. Why so many people are developing monkeypox around Europe? Before the world even knows what monkeypox is, 183 cases are confirmed across the UK by the end of May. In South Africa, the penny hasn't dropped. Have you ever heard of uh, monkeypox? I haven't. I don't really know much about it. I think I just saw pictures of it mm -hmm. and it was just really disgusting. By mid-June, over a thousand cases appear all over the world, most of them unrelated to travel. Scientists explain this is not a new virus, but until now, it's rarely left West and Central Africa and it's never spread this wide. The problem is that uh, not enough research has been done we still don't know exactly how the transmission has been occurred. And then... Late yesterday, I received a report from the National Health Laboratory Service uh, indicating that uh, they have confirmed through a laboratory test the first case of monkeypox in South Africa. A 30-year-old male in Johannesburg with no recent travel history became our first human case of monkeypox ever. With the global pandemic hardly behind us and a new virus emerging, I went back to school for a crash course on monkeypox. Dr. Floret Trienicht is the head of the virology department at Wits University. How worried should we be in, in, in South Africa with regards to all of this? Because it seems like there's a world panic around monkeypox. You know, monkeypox thus far, it stayed localised in West Africa. You had a few cases that were exported before, I think, I would say 2021, um, but they were contained quite quickly. Yes. At the moment, the concern is that there was probably transmissions happening that was unnoticed. Scientists suspect that monkeypox has become better at evading the immune system so it can continue to spread and survive. So, in countries where monkeypox is new, cases unrelated to travel mean that the source is a mystery. So, monkeypox is a virus that are normally found in animals and causes then the syndrome in monkeys, but sometimes it will spill over into humans. And actually, the, the name monkeypox is actually a bit of a misnomer because if you look at Africa, the animals that actually carries the virus includes monkeys, squirrels, rats, and then anteaters and sloths. In, in other words, any animal can actually carry it. It's just the poor monkey is the one being blamed for all of this. That's exactly what's, what's happening at the moment. And so after the virus is dead in humans, we get human-to-human -human transmission. Most transmissions happen through skin-to-skin -skin contact. Then even that dry scabs, it will still have live virus in it. This means that sharing clothes or touching surfaces that have been exposed to infected individuals can give you monkeypox. Like other viruses, monkeypox can be transmitted during prolonged face-to-face -face contact, but not as easily as the flu or COVID. If you're infected, you'll start to feel a fever coming on, followed by headaches, muscle and back pain, fatigue and even swollen lymph nodes. About three days in, you'll start to notice a rash or lesions beginning to form. In 95% of cases, they've got lesions in the face, inside of the palms, even on the soles of their feet, mm -hmm. and then the genital area. While sexual contact is a common way to get it, monkeypox is not a sexually transmitted disease, and anyone can be infected regardless of their sexual orientation. The World Health Organization says newborns, children, and immunocompromised people may suffer worse symptoms and even die from monkeypox.
Dr. Jacqueline Weyer is the principal medical scientist at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. She says that our health system can handle this outbreak. In fact, there's a recent success story to prove it. In May um, 2022, we actually had an importation of a case of Lassa fever to South Africa. Lassa fever is an animal-borne disease also found in parts of West Africa and poses a similar level of risk to monkeypox. So we were able to identify the case, diagnose the case, and there were no additional cases of Lassa fever in South Africa. And we're working to make sure that we can repeat um, these successes. Scientists are warning that outbreaks like these will become the new normal. As we continue to put pressure on nature, as our behavior dictates, of course, the way that we respond to it also needs to change. So that, that is a, a challenge um, for scientists and the challenge for, for the healthcare systems. And experts like Oxford's Piero Oliaro agree. It's about that uh, human expansion is an uh, invasion of uh, natural habitats, uh, deforestation, as we know all too well. While the rest of the world is only finding out about monkeypox now, scientists and health professionals in Central and West Africa have been dealing with the virus since the 1970s. I recall I was talking with one of my auntie who was telling me that she has been seeing kids and people around her for very many years. So she was really surprised that now it's becoming a, like a big deal. Professor Yabun II is a virologist for the Doctors Without Borders research arm based in Cameroon. Boon says virologists in this region have managed to keep outbreaks relatively under control despite having limited resources, and he believes that other countries will be able to do the same. But we have to make sure that we are talking about the very same disease, because we can have the same virus, which can act very differently based on the population. Research into monkeypox has been ongoing in countries like the Central African Republic and has only recently started in Europe. Professor Oliaro has been at the coalface. It has been um, disappointing uh, that the world is waking up to monkeypox uh, only when it hits uh, uh, rich countries and, um, and it's been largely ignored before. He says more investment should be dedicated to rare disease research long before outbreaks spill over to the West. Nonetheless, this outbreak seems to be moving the needle. A clinical trial for a drug that could fight monkeypox has started in the Central African Republic. This drug has been there for some time and, and there have not been enough resources. There's also been a push to produce more monkeypox tests, but unlike we've seen with the response to COVID-19, Boone says a vaccine may not be a priority. Because if at some point they realize that eventually there is no death, uh, the, the disease stopped by itself, most likely they won't push that hard to get the vaccine because as we all know, a pharmaceutical company aim is to make profit. As numbers continue to rise across the world, the NICD expects more cases in the weeks to come and urges all South Africans to be vigilant.